Hello and welcome! Today we are back in London and sacrifice ourselves to check out the upper class for you, the London Hilton on Park Lane. I guess I don't have to say too much about the location. Directly at the Hyde Park, a stone's throw away from Buckingham Palace and surrounded only by high-class hotels. Only the Buckingham Palace itself might be a better location in London. Which is quite clear since it was the first Hilton Hotel in the United Kingdom, built in 1963. The last renovation is already some time ago and lies back in 2011. Although there are plans for more than four years now to completely refurbish the hotel. More than 450 rooms and suites, several restaurants and bars, the one Michelin star restaurant Galvin at Windows and a panoramic view over London make this hotel a must for luxury travelers. After filling us up with champagne at check-in, we got a paid upgrade offer to a Grassmanner suite. The pricing was fair, so it would have been very impolite to refuse it. I like a good salesman who knows how to deal with clients. The suite, here on the schematics on the upper left hand side, consists of two large rooms, each with a super large window. As you can see, the furniture style is already a little bit outdated, but it is still okay. In order to reveal all secrets of the suite, you have to check out almost all cabinets. In the first one, we find the amenities for tea and coffee. Additionally, you find a coffee machine and the complimentary bottles of water. Next to it, there is a small bathroom. One speciality here, the amenities are, as usually known from Waldorf Astorias, made by Salvatore Ferragamo. Here you already see what I mean by view. From the 24th floor the view over London is awesome. Our room is pointing to the London Eye and thus also to the skyline of London. No other building around is even close to this height, so you can see really, really far. The building has 29 floors so you are close to the highest point already. Before we go into the bedroom, let's have a quick look into the minibar and the cabinet next to it. The minibar is filled with some shots, soft drinks and water and also some chocolate which might be useful at some point after all the alcohol. And next to it, you find some more content belonging to the minibar. But now to the bedroom, where a large and comfortable bed and an armchair with a small table next to it await us. Of course, also a large mirror and a TV set are not missing here. There is also a cushion at the window that is wide enough to sit at the window and test your vertigo. The view is really fantastic and on a sunny day like today, you really enjoy this view into many, many directions. Back to the room now and let's have a look into the wardrobe so nobody can say he didn't knew what to expect there. Slippers, hair dryer, safe, the standard amenities as usual. Non-standard is here the Hilton umbrella, which you might need in London from time to time. The large bathroom is very spacious and you will find the bathtub on the one side and the walk-in shower on the other. Here you also complete the collection of Salvatore Ferragamo amenities. Additionally, also toothbrushes and other special tools are here at your disposal. Obviously the cleaning lady forgot her spray here, but let's look past that today. With a large walk-in rain shower, we complete the tour of our suite. And since we are thirsty, we check out the executive lounge amenities downstairs. We 
one highlight worth to mention. Similar as in the Hilton Prague, there are no buttons in the lift. You select outside the level you want to go to and then the system selects the right elevator for you. Currently, the actual lounge area is closed, but one of the bars has been converted to a lounge, no worries here. You can have all day long soft drinks and coffee with some popcorn there and during the happy hour you receive also alcoholic beverages and some special snacks. Since we didn't have a pre-booking at the Galvin restaurant, we had a stop at the 10 degree bar next to it, enjoyed the view and had a nice signature drink on the 29th floor. The food selection in the bar was not for us that night, so we took the room service instead and enjoyed the view from our room a little bit more. The food was good, some details went wrong. Instead of the sauces, they probably grabbed a trolley for the breakfast, which was pre-equipped with cups and marmalades. We really need to try out fries with orange marmalade. Not too bad, actually. Breakfast was also served on the room the next day. You could pre-select whatever you wanted already at check-in and it was prepared and brought to your room with a delay of about 20 to 30 minutes. Unfortunately, here they probably caught the trolley for dinner and provided mustard and ketchup instead of marmalades. Luckily, we still had the marmalades from the night before, but, uh, well, they also forgot the bread. We called the front desk to ask for toast, but still wait today to receive it. For the London Hilton on Park Lane, we award 4.5 out of 5 diamonds. We really enjoyed the stay here. A strong start, but some weak points at the end. Anyway, the staff was super nice and we definitely come back. If you enjoyed the review, subscribe to our channel. There is a lot more to come. See you out there. You're Alex from Gaia Dreams.